In this video, we will be covering the fundamental data structures that are present in R. Since R is a vector-based programming language, the very first data structure we will talk about are known as vectors. Vectors are data structures that can contain many elements. For instance, uh, here's a vector, vector A. And this vector, uh, I'm going to be using error assignment to assign a value to this vector. And this vector can hold any value. It can hold an individual value, such as um, or a vector can hold other values, such as a combination of names, for instance, in this case, both of these are in fact vectors. The first vector holds just one value, the second vector holds a combination of values. As you can see, I have two vectors, the first vector just holding one value and the second one holding uh, a combination of vectors, uh, a combination of values. Uh, notice uh, when I have text inside the vector, it's a character vector. One doesn't need to just have character vectors, but can have vectors of many different types. In this case, I'm going to have a vector of numbers. As you can see, vectors C, D, and E are three vectors that hold numbers and character data respectively. And they're present in the global working memory. A variety of operations can be performed in vectors, such as arithmetic operations, multiplication, division, subtraction. For instance, if I wanted to take the two vectors, vector C and vector E, and add them to each other, um, I can do it this way. The sum of C and E is going to be a new vector that holds vector C plus vector e, the summation of the two. And if I run that, we see I have vector c and e holds the sum of these two vectors. That's 32.5 plus 1, uh, 55.6 plus 2, and so on and so forth. And so I see the new vector right here. Um, vector, and so we can have arithmetic operations. We can have arithmetic operations on vectors that allow us to perform addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction with these vectors. If I would like to print out this vector, I can just use the print function to print out this vector if I wanted to. If I wanted to take a look at 
data type of this vector, I can do that as well. Printing out the class of this vector, it's a numeric vector. In addition to performing an arithmetic operations on vectors, you can perform summarization operations on vectors. For instance, I can calculate the mean of the vector c by using this function mean. The function mean is a base function uh, in R. And we see the mean of that vector. Uh, in addition to just the mean, you can look at the minimum value of the vector. Uh, I can also take a look at the maximum value of that vector. And one can also take a look at the sum of the values in that vector. The mean of the vector, the maximum of the vector, and the summation of all the values in the vector can be performed with looking at uh, the mean, minimum, maximum, and summation functions that are present within the base value base functions of R. Consider a vector that holds CO2 values. Uh, I'll provide a set of CO2 values. And I shall have another vector called year that holds some other values, in this case values of year going from 2000 to 2004. Each vector, in this case, holds five values. Uh, obviously, I can run summarization to calculate uh, the mean, minimum, maximum, and uh, for CO2 across those years if I chose to. One of the other built-in functions that's present in R is a function known as plot. Plot is a function that allows us to create a graphical visualization that plots uh, uh, X and Y information. The simplest use of this plot function would be to plot, in fact, x and y, where the first value in the plot function is, is x, in this case, the year vector. And the second function, uh, the second data element in this function is the y coordinate or the y axis, and that would be CO2. And so if I store CO2 in the global environment, year in the global environment, I can then run the plot function. And the plot function allows me to plot these two values. And you can see I have a plot under the plots tab in our studio where I have year on the x-axis and CO2 on the y-axis. If one wants to look for more information about the plot function and other parameters for the plot function, one can go to the help window over here type in PLOT and look at the different options that are present as part of the plot function. Obviously, we want the base plot function and not uh, ggplot, which, we'll, uh, which is from a package that uh, provides additional plotting functionality. So just based on the base plot function, you can see we can plot x and y coordinates. And sometimes we can also provide labels for x-axis, y-axis. Um, and so we have some arguments and parameters that can be set for the plot function if we chose to. But the simplest for form of the plot function is providing uh, the data elements for the x and the y-axis.